A sea of red ink, the US budget deficit explained. The budget deficit for fiscal year 2024 has reached a staggering $1.8 trillion. This means the government spent $1.8 trillion more than it took in through taxes and other revenue sources. This situation raises concerns about the nation's economic health and long-term stability. Let's break down what this deficit means and why it matters for everyday Americans. Each year's deficit adds to the national debt. This ever-growing debt has significant implications for interest rates, inflation, and the overall health of the US economy. Understanding the problem is the first step toward finding viable solutions. Your household budget, supersized. Understanding the deficit, imagine your household budget. You earn a certain amount of money each month from your job. You spend money on essential expenses like rent, groceries, and utilities. Now imagine if you consistently spent more than you earned each month. You might put some expenses on credit cards, accumulating debt. This situation is analogous to the US government running a budget deficit. When the government spends more than it takes in, it must borrow money to cover the difference. Just like with personal credit card debt, interest accrues on the national debt, further straining future budgets. A historical perspective deficits then and now. Budget deficits are not a new phenomenon in the United States. The country has faced periods of both surpluses and deficits throughout its history. However, the current $1.8 trillion deficit is significantly larger than historical averages. The average budget deficit from 1980 to 2020 was around 3.9% of GDP. The 2024 deficit, at approximately 7% of GDP, is cause for concern among economists and policymakers. Increased government spending on social programs, defence and interest payments on the national debt have contributed to the high deficit. Tax cuts implemented in recent years have reduced government revenue, further widening the gap between spending and income. The perfect storm unpacking the 2024 deficit, the financial landscape is more turbulent than ever. The 2024 budget deficit of $1.8 trillion is the result of a confluence of factors, each contributing to the overall financial strain. Rising interest payments on the national debt, increased government spending, and lower tax revenues are just the beginning. Lingering costs from pandemic relief efforts, which were essential for public health and economic stability, also play a significant role. One major contributor is the increasing cost of servicing the national debt, which has ballooned over the years. This financial burden limits the government's ability to invest in other critical areas, such as infrastructure, education, or research and development, which are essential for long-term growth. Government spending has increased across various departments and programs, including defense, healthcare, and social safety net programs, reflecting the growing needs of the population. These areas are crucial, but they come with hefty price tags. Tax cuts enacted in recent years have reduced government revenue, further exacerbating the deficit and limiting fiscal flexibility. Finally, the lingering costs of pandemic relief efforts continue to impact the budget as the nation recovers from the economic fallout. While these measures were necessary to protect public health and stabilize the economy, they have added to the already substantial deficit, creating a complex financial challenge for the future. The interest rate roller coaster borrowing more, paying more. The national debt and the budget deficit are inextricably linked. Each year's deficit adds to the national debt, requiring the government to borrow more money. This increased borrowing has significant implications for interest rates. When the government borrows large sums of money, it increases the demand for loanable funds in the market. This increased demand can drive up interest rates, making it more expensive for businesses and individuals to borrow money. Higher interest rates can discourage businesses from investing and expanding, potentially slowing economic growth. This delicate balance between government borrowing and interest rates highlights the importance of addressing the budget deficit. The spending debate guns or butter revisited. The issue of government spending lies at the heart of the budget deficit debate. Policymakers often grapple with the classic guns or butter dilemma, weighing the need for national defense against investments in social programs. Advocates for increased government spending argue it is essential for promoting economic growth and providing a safety net for vulnerable populations. 
Proponents of spending cuts argue that excessive government spending is unsustainable and can lead to higher taxes, inflation and economic stagnation. The debate over government spending is often highly politicised, with different ideological perspectives shaping views on the role of government, finding a sustainable balance between necessary investments and fiscal responsibility is crucial for addressing the budget deficit. Taxing times revenue shortfalls and the deficit. While government spending plays a significant role in the budget deficit, revenue shortfalls also contribute to the problem. When the government collects less in taxes than it spends, the deficit widens. Economic downturns can reduce tax revenue as businesses and individuals earn less income. Tax cuts, while often implemented to stimulate economic growth, can also reduce government revenue if not offset by spending cuts or economic growth. Changes in tax policy such as deductions, exemptions and credits can impact the amount of revenue collected. Addressing revenue shortfalls involves balancing the need for government revenue with the potential impact of tax policy on economic growth and individual taxpayers. Finding a sustainable approach to tax policy is crucial for addressing the budget deficit. Pandemic spending a necessary evil or a bridge too far? The COVID-19 pandemic had a profound impact on the US economy, leading to widespread job losses and business closures. In response, the government implemented trillions of dollars in emergency spending measures. These measures included direct payments to individuals, enhanced unemployment benefits, and funding for healthcare and vaccine development. While these programs were essential for mitigating the economic fallout of the pandemic, they also contributed significantly to the national debt and the 2024 budget deficit. Proponents argue that the spending was crucial for preventing a deeper economic depression. Critics argue that the spending was excessive and poorly targeted, leading to waste and fraud. The debate over pandemic spending reflects the broader ideological divide over the role of government in times of crisis. The Day of Reckoning Consequences of a Ballooning Deficit The ballooning budget deficit and the growing national debt pose significant risks to the long-term health of the US economy. These financial imbalances can have far-reaching consequences that affect every sector of society. One significant concern is the crowding out effect. This phenomenon occurs when government borrowing absorbs available financial resources, leaving less for private sector investment. As the government borrows more money to finance its deficit, it can drive up interest rates, making it more expensive for businesses and individuals to borrow money. Higher interest rates can deter entrepreneurs from starting new ventures and can also burden existing businesses with higher costs. This can stifle investment, slow economic growth and make it more difficult for families to afford homes, cars and other essential goods and services. The ripple effect can be felt across the economy, leading to job losses and reduced consumer spending. Another concern is the risk of inflation. When the government injects large sums of money into the economy through deficit spending, it can lead to an increase in the money supply. When the government injects large sums of money into the economy through deficit spending, it can lead to an increase in the money supply. This can devalue the currency leading to higher prices for goods and services. This can devalue the currency, leading to higher prices for goods and services. Inflation erodes purchasing power, making everyday items more expensive for consumers. Furthermore, a high level of debt can limit the government's ability to respond to future crises. In times of emergency, such as natural disasters or economic downturns, the government may find itself constrained by its debt obligations. Addressing the budget deficit and the national debt is about ensuring the long-term economic security of the nation. It requires a balanced approach that includes fiscal responsibility, strategic investments and policies that promote sustainable growth. Charting a course solutions in the road ahead. Addressing the US budget deficit is a complex challenge with no easy solutions. It involves navigating through a maze of financial intricacies and political considerations. It requires a multifaceted approach that involves both reducing spending and increasing revenue. This dual strategy is essential to create a balanced and sustainable budget. 
Some argue that the focus should be on reducing government spending. They believe that cutting down on unnecessary expenditures is the key to solving the deficit issue. They advocate for cutting programs, especially those deemed inefficient or redundant, reducing the size of the federal workforce, which they argue has become bloated over the years, and reforming entitlement programs like Social Security and Medicare to ensure their long-term viability. Others contend that the focus should be on increasing revenue. They argue that the wealthiest individuals and corporations should contribute more to the national budget. They propose raising taxes on wealthy individuals and corporations, closing tax loopholes that allow for tax avoidance, and implementing new taxes on carbon emissions or financial transactions to generate additional revenue. Finding a sustainable path forward will require compromise and a willingness to consider a range of options. Both sides must come together to find common ground. The choices we make today will have lasting consequences for future generations. Our decisions will shape the economic landscape for years to come. It's time for a national conversation about our priorities and how we can ensure a fiscally responsible future for the United States. This dialogue is crucial for building a consensus on the best path forward.